Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Trackman 44 here. Uh, this morning, we graded the road. We got the old Alice Chalmers, that old uh, road grader out, and we graded the road. Of course, the son-in-law used his, his new uh, L3301 motor, and uh, we double teamed it, got it in pretty good shape. So this afternoon, I'm going to put this old gal to work. It's going to be the first bit of work she's ever done on my property. Now, we're not completely done with her yet. Don't even have the wheel weights back on. I'm going to regret that right now for hooking onto that 4,000-pound roller, uh, more than likely. But, um, and I'm not done with the gas tank yet. There's a couple other things I'm not quite done yet. So it's still kind of stripped down and, and a, a work in progress, so to speak. But well, we're going to go out there and hook onto the roller and see how long this thing will stay running. And I uh, still don't have a good battery in it yet, so I got the charge on it right now. And hopefully it'll spot right up. And we'll go ahead and pack in that roadway a little bit. Always the neutral handshake. A little bit of choke on this one here, seems like.
son-in-law is going to take a round or two while I get a drink. Uh, that's the first time he'll been, he was, uh, will have ever driven this particular international too. So actually, except for running just a little bit rich, I think it's doing pretty good. i uh, got a little bit of adjusting to do on it, but like I said, I've done nothing to the motor. Uh, you guys have seen all the videos on what we've done to get it to the point that it's at. But today's his very first work day, and uh, actually I'm kind of liking it. It's a little awkward on the shifting pattern. I'm not real good with that left hand shifting. All my Masseys are right hand shift. I'm just more familiar with that. But still, I like this old thing, and I can't wait to get the wheel weights back on it. I think it'll scratch going uphill with this roller a lot less when I get a couple of wheel weights on the back end. with that International Ace, there's a set of little genius 212s uh, pull tight uh, pl plows. There's about a 1928 Fortson up here. Somewhere around the 1928. That's not an International. <clears throat> well, we've got the old gal back in the stable just about almost exactly where it was when we started this morning. Kind of proud of the old gal. First time out, you know, uh, asked a little bit of her. Got a little bit of a just, I think, the High speed jet needs to be turned down just a little bit. It's got a little splutter and stuff, you know, whenever it's a wide open throttle and under no load, you know, kind of coasting downhill or whatever. Um, but when it's under a pull, you know, it's using all the fuel, burn a little bit black, just a little bit black, so it is getting a little bit too much fuel. But uh, I'm actually kind of happy with the old guy. You know, he's got good brakes and everything. Everything works fine. Transmission howls just like all the old farm tractors and stuff. Uh, never missed a gear. Everything, everything shifts, everything does fine. Uh, the alternator, the alternator adaption, I kept monitoring the, uh, the voltmeter, everything's looking good. Uh, didn't see a problem at all with anything, except for, like I said, a little bit of carburetion, and of course the temporary fuel tank. I even engaged the PTO, you know, just to hear the, the, uh, the belt pulley run for just a little while, and just to see, uh, you know, see how good it sounded with all that fresh rear end oil. But at any rate, that's its very first project under its belt, and uh, I'm happy with her. I hope she, uh, hope she wants to stay here for a while. I hate to drag her off to the junkyard. Well, she is a little warm. That's too warm to put warm on. Hey, this is Trackman 44, and <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. <laughs>